the kitchen. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Kids Church this morning. Last week we learned about what? Um, the church's birthday. The church's birthday. We had a birthday cake. Anna, will you tell us why was it the church's birthday? What happened that we celebrate um, the start of the church? Because God was into heaven. I mean, Jesus, not God, because God was already heaven. True. Um, and Jesus is God. There's the three examples. God, God the, the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. Well, yes, and so let's Anna, Anna talk about that. So, so what happened? This, Jesus rose into heaven, and, and he sent a helper. Who was the helper this, that he sent? The Holy Spirit, that's right, because there's three parts of God. God the Father, God the Son, who's Jesus, and he sent the Holy Spirit as our helper. And we talked about how the Holy Spirit helps us use our gifts and use our talents and use the ways that God created us to share the good news, which is something we've been talking about a lot. He helps us to do that. And so we celebrated the church's birthday with a birthday cake. So today we are going to continue this story about the early church getting started with a story about one of our first leaders in the church out of our Jesus Storybook Bible. And today we are reading about Saul. This one is called A New Way to See. Of all the people who kept the rules, Saul was the best. I'm good at being good, he'd tell you. He was very proud and very good, but he wasn't very nice. Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He traveled around looking for them. He wanted to catch them and put them in prison. He wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus. He didn't believe Jesus was the rescuer, and he didn't believe Jesus was alive either. You see, Saul had never met Jesus. So one day, Jesus met Saul. Saul was on his way to Damascus when suddenly a dazzling light flashed like lightning. It was brighter than the sun. It was too bright. Saul shielded his eyes and fell to the ground. He heard a loud voice. It was too loud. It gave Saul a headache. Saul, Saul, said the loud voice. Why are you fighting me? Lord, Saul answered, who are you? I am Jesus, said the voice. When you hurt my friends, you're hurting me too. Saul's whole body trembled. Go to the city, Jesus said. I'll tell you what to do. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see. His helpers had to hold his hand and lead him like a little child. Saul was blind for three whole days, and yet it was as if he was seeing for the very first time. Meanwhile, there was a man called Ananias who loved Jesus. Jesus came to him in a dream. Go to Saul and pray for him, and I will make him see again. Ananias knew all about Saul and how he hated Jesus' followers. Lord, he has come to hurt us. But Jesus told Ananias, Saul is the one I've chosen to tell the whole world who I am. So Ananias went to Saul. Brother Saul, Ananias said, it was Jesus you met on the road. And Ananias prayed for Saul. Suddenly, Saul could see again, but he saw everything differently. He wasn't mean anymore. He even changed his name from Saul to Paul, which means small and humble, the very opposite of proud. And do you know what Ananias' name means? The Lord is full of grace. Grace is just another word for gift, which is funny because that's just what Paul's message was all about from then on. It's not about keeping rules, Paul told people. You don't have to be good at being good for God to love you. You just have to believe what Jesus has done and follow him. Because it's not about trying, it's about trusting. It's not about rules, it's about grace. God's free gift that cost him everything. What had happened to Paul? He met Jesus. Paul got a new job. He called himself a servant and traveled everywhere telling everyone about Jesus. He got shipwrecked three times. He even ended up in prison. God loves us, he wrote from prison. Nothing can ever, no, not ever, separate us from the never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love of God he showed us in Jesus. And so it was, just as God promised Abraham that dark night all those years before, 
the family of God's children grew and grew until one day they would come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. Okay, so in this story, God did something amazing. He took Saul, who was not a great guy, and who was persecuting the church, and Jesus met him, and Jesus transformed him from the inside out and actually used him to spread the good news like wildfire um, all over the place. All right, so we're going to talk about that today, about how God transforms. And to do this, we're going to do gonna some more baking. Yummy. We're going to do some more baking. So let me show you what I have here. We have eggs. I'm going to put those in here for now. We have eggs. I have oil and water in here. And then, of course, we've got our brownie. Wow. chocolate brownie mix. Do you want to start out? Uh, you can add our eggs to the bowl, Camden. Okay, so we talked about how he was hurting people, right? Just like you put the eggs. In there. Anna, you want to pour this in? And it tells us in scripture that he was breathing out threats, or you could say pouring out threats, which is like he was saying mean things. He was saying things that weren't very nice. Nice work. Caleb, would you like to dump in our chocolate? Scissors. Buddy. I'm only and it turns into brown dog going to go put these brownies in the oven. Camden said it's time to turn these bad brownies into good brownies. It's also, it's also, <laughs> no, you wouldn't it, just, um, I would also, because you know how like when you cook bread and it puffs up, well this is basically bread, it's just basically sweet bread, and so it's kind of like you're, all, you're frail and stuff, and then Joy puffs you up into a nice man. Oh, I like that. That's a good analogy. And all right. you want to just eat it because it will taste bad, but once you all bake it all, it becomes good. That's a good point. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back here with a pan of good fall brownies. Okay. We're going to be doing the song called True or False Quiz. We will have five seconds to answer each question. First question. Saul was traveling to Damascus to visit his sick grandmother. True or False. The correct answer is false. He was on his way to Damascus to arrest Christians. Second question, Saul saw a light brighter than the sun and heard the voice of Jesus. True or false? The correct answer is true. Third question, Saul couldn't hear for three days. True or false? The correct answer is false. He was blind. Fourth question, Jesus sent Peter to pray for Paul. True or false? The correct answer is false. Jesus sent a man called Ananias. Fifth question, Ananias was really excited to go see Saul. True or false? False. He was really scared. Number six, Saul's eyes were healed when Ananias prayed for him. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number seven, Saul changed his name to Paul, which means big and strong. True or false? The correct answer is false. Paul means small and humble. Number eight, Paul got a new job sharing the good news of God's love. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number nine, Paul ended up in prison for sharing the good news. True or false? The 
correct answer is true. Number 10, God can transform someone's life when they believe in Jesus. True or false? The correct answer is true. Anyways, that's it for the game. Hope you all got to see the questions better. All right, we did it. We transformed the brown, bad brownies into good brownies. <laughs> so we talked about how, how God, um, he met Saul on the road, and he transformed Saul's heart when Saul met Jesus and used him to spread the good news. And the cool thing about this story is that God can transform anybody. And it's not just something that happens one time. God can transform us every single day. He can transform us every single minute, all the time. Camden and I were just talking about this. Sometimes we make mistakes, or, and we can talk to God, and we can pray to him to transform our hearts and to make us more patient, to make us more loving, to make us um, have more courage, all of those things. God transforms us all the time. And if there's someone in your life who maybe um, is kind of like a Saul, maybe somebody who uh, you have a hard time getting along with, we can pray for them too because everybody's a child of God and everybody can be transformed by God. And that's the really amazing thing about this story. So we're going to go enjoy our transformation. I'll close this in prayer Bye. first. Bye. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you transform our hearts. We thank you that you fill us with the Holy Spirit and that you use us to spread your good news. Help us to spread your good news in our homes and in our communities. Thank you for loving us. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. All right, guys. Y'all have a great week. We'll see y'all soon. See ya. Amen. Yeah, yeah.